everybody. It's me, Sam, and I had never done this before. I'd never tried the e.l.f. foundation and primer and concealer. So I'm going to try these things out. I'm going to grab a few more things. See, as you can see, I have nothing on my face. <laughs> see? Got little face monsters and demons. So I'm going to start with this e.l.f. mineral face primer. Now I did swatches on the back of my arm and stuff just to see what the color was. And I did find out that the eye, the concealer that I had bought that I thought was going to work for me for my under eyes is too dark, but I'll use it in other places. And I will substitute my eye concealer with this one from NYC. So I'm going to pump out. It's got the same texture as the Smashbox photo finish. But I think this one costs three dollars, so. Hello! <laughs> My dogs are making noises back there. So I'm just pressing this and and kind of tapping it over my redness. Tap 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 tap. Alright. My hands are all slick. It's got some slip to it, don't it? <laughs> Okay, and now I'm going to take this foundation. I got this in the color 83112 Sand, and it's the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. I'm gonna pump, I think two, maybe one more. And then I'm going to dot it. Well, that's a pretty good color match. Over my faith. Yes, that is. Looks a little yellow right now, so we'll see how it blends in. We shall see. I'm gonna start yeah, pouncing it in with my dampened beauty blender. Needs a good scrubbing too. All right, pounce, 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 pounce. Over the face demons and them chins and my hyperpigmentation. Oh, the joys of skin. So much joy. Anywho, um, I think the foundation costs six dollars, and the only other foundation I can think of that's less expensive that I absolutely adore is the uh, foundation by Rimmel, the Stay Matte, because I love that. It's blending out pretty good. I do see, I feel like I want to use a brush just to further buff it into my skin, so I'm just going to take my Real Techniques buffing brush and make this look more velvety on my face. Yeah, I like that better. It's got pretty good coverage. I'd say medium coverage. As you can see, you can still see quite a few of my red marks, but it is to be expected. I'm going to grab the concealer that I got in light, which is a little dark for me, and dab it on the extreme marks that I want to conceal. And taking my beauty blender, I'm going to tap them in. You see that? It's got good coverage. It does. It really cancels out a lot of that redness. And some of you know that if you have acne, you really can never get rid of the redness without um, looking like cake face. So for my under eye concealer, I'm going to use this one by NYC. This one's a uh, medium. Pretty inexpensive. <laughs> Using the corner of my dampened beauty blender. Let's get in there and just pounce it in. Sometimes I use my fingers for this, but I just happen to have my beauty blender out, so it does a nice job of making a velveteen finish. Just pressing that into there. Bringing it down a little lower. Okay, now I'm going to set with one of my favorites that I always have in my favorites, it's the 
e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder, and I used my setting brush from Real Techniques. I'm almost out. This was one of my finish five before the Snow Flies Challenge. I'm just going to pat that over that concealer. I really do like this stuff. I'm glad that I decided to try it. It's much less expensive than the one that I use from Laura Mercier. And it does a really good job. So I just like to use that right there. And I don't swipe, I just pat. And this little brush distributes the prop the product. Product properly. I'm going to set the foundation with this uh, high definition powder and it's called Sheer. Number 40310. It comes with a powder puff, which I recommend with this powder because if you use a brush, it'll totally get into your airway. So I'm just going to roll it over my face with the puff that comes with it. Or pat it. And you see there's excessive powder, of course. I'm going to let that cook for a second. I call it cooking, where you wait for your skin to eat it, if you know what I mean. Um, concealer lips. So I have the excessive powder on, which is fine, because now I feel like while I let that cook a little bit, I'm going to take the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I think I got the color dark, number 40106. And it looks like this and it has a waxy side and a powder side. I'm going to take the powder side with my Real Techniques eyebrow brush and I'm going to stamp my eyebrows in. They, I had them shaped recently and she did manage to take a little bit of my personality away at my peak but that'll grow back in. I just couldn't handle how how extremely bushy they had gotten. Um, they went, oh, that looks really warm on there. Woo, warm brows. That's all right. We can deal. Can't we? Can't we deal? I think we can. There. If I had red hair, it'd be even better, huh? Gonna take a spooly brush. Spooly, a little spooly. And just put them puppies back into place. Now that I cooked off a little bit, <laughs> I'm going to take my kabuki brush and just pounce away their excess powder. I don't want to really brush it away because I don't want the makeup to move underneath it. And let's see. Ah, oh, just put, I pounced my eyeball. Since I'm, I'm just kind of prepping myself right now. Anyway, I'm going to use the e.l.f. eye primer, which I really like um, as you watch. It does actually have pigment in it, and so that it cancels out some of that bluish and reddish tones that our veins give our eyelids. And it has a very similar consistency to the NARS uh, eye primer, which I adore, and I'm going to buy a full size soon. It's one of my second favorite to my favorite, which is the Anti-Aging Urban Decay one. But both of those higher end ones don't have any pigment in them. So you kind of have to go over them with like a MAC paint pot or a Maybelline color tattoo or even an elf smudge pot which I haven't gotten to try yet but I've heard good reviews every time I get an email from elf I'm like should I order should I order and I never do I never do I usually like to see a product in a store before I order it online anyhow so anyhow, that's my prepped face this is how I usually do my face before I come on here and do an eye look with a cheek look and a lip look and I just wanted to share that kind of impression I am getting from the elf products because my um, Holy Grail foundation is the MAC Studio Fix, and I'm an NW, no, I'm NC20, right? I think either an NW or an M20. I'm the cool one. And I've been just looking for alternatives to get into my makeup gear, and this is a pretty good color match, I think. So if you have any other questions about what I did with my foundation prep work, I'll just ask, and I'll definitely tell you. And just remember, it ain't easy being green, but sure is fun. I'll see you soon.